Hello everyone. This video shows how I set up my yearling leopard tortoises new home. I wanted to give them a bigger area as they'd outgrown the previous setup that they were in. And in my tortoise shed above my adult leopard tortoises, I have an area that I previously used for other tortoises, but this is now free and ready to use with a few minor modifications. Before I started the alterations, I thoroughly cleaned and disinfected the whole enclosure. So the wooden sides, the flooring, the ceiling, in the corners and crevices, as well as the plastic strips, which I removed and took outside to wash and disinfect and then left to air dry. I repeated the process again a few days before setting this up for the yearling leopard tortoises. Incidentally, I use the term yearlings for any tortoises that are between one and two years old. I know other tortoise owners may have different age ranges or sizes to describe yearlings, but as there isn't any clear or official guidelines for the different age groups, I'll use my interpretation of this being one to two years old. Now that their area is disinfected, I'll go through the additional bits needed for their enclosure. So we have a basking bulb holder, a 100 watt UVB basking bulb, and I'll be suspending it using one of these hooks. And I will use these cable clips to secure the cable from the holder in place. I've also got a selection of artificial plants to give them places to hide and I'll be securing these in place using a staple gun. And for this substrate I'll be using two bags of topsoil mixed with a bag of play pit sand. So let's get started on setting up their enclosure. First we can remove the front panels. This end I'm planning on using as their eating area and I've put a plastic curtain between this area, which is the cooler end, and the main area here, which is the warmer end. In the warmer area here, I already have one greenhouse heater, which is attached to the back wall, and a UVB strip light across the centre of the ceiling. There are three air holes at both ends of the enclosure to allow for air circulation when the front panels are in place. I'm planning on setting up their basking area down this end and I'll be fixing it to the wooden ceiling as it's got easy access to the spare plug socket. First we'll set up the basking bulb holder using the bits we went through earlier. This holder comes with two different fixings but the one I want is this one so that I can use one of these hooks to hang it from the ceiling. Next I want to make sure I position the lamp holder so that the cable will reach the socket. I also need to make sure that the bulb will be the correct distance away from the top of the tortoise's shell. And you can find out the recommended distances on the packaging of the bulb. Plus you need to allow a couple of inches for the substrate or slate that you'll be using under the basking bulb. Now I can fix the hook in place. Then hang the basking bulb holder onto the hook. And then put in the bulb. I also want to make sure that the cable from the holder is securely attached to the ceiling to prevent it coming into contact with the holder, plus I need to keep it away from any tortoises. I will then have the cable coming out of this corner once the front panel is in place. Next we'll put in the artificial plants. Once we've decided where they'll go, we can staple them in place. Now we're ready to add the substrate. 
Once I've mixed it together, I'll be covering the whole of their enclosure with about two inches of substrate. And here I'm adding in some slopes or different gradients to keep their legs nice and strong when they walk up and down them. I'll finish off the rest of the substrate later on in the video as now I want to get on and test the temperatures. So first of all I'll set up the slate that goes in their basking area. Then we'll switch on the UVB strip light, the basking bulb, and the tubular heater. The tubular heater is set on a thermostat so it will kick in if it goes below 22 degrees C. Then I'll put the front panels back in place and I'll leave it for a couple of hours so that the temperatures settle. I'm sure most of you will recognise this temperature slide by now, so I won't go over this again, but I have included it for anyone that isn't familiar with the temperatures that I'll be testing. A couple of hours later, I came back to check the temperatures under the basking bulb, and I found them ranging from 34 to 36 degrees C, which is too warm. So I made a few adjustments until I got the temperature in the safe ranges. For example, I changed the basking bulb for a lower wattage, I also changed the holder for a smaller one and also raised it higher by attaching where the wires cross here rather than using the loop at the top. After retesting the temperatures I'm happy that they're now in the safe ranges although this particular thermometer is reading 32.6 degrees C. I've tested this previously and I know the reading is 1.4 degrees C higher than the actual temperature. So really the basking temperature is 31.2 degrees C, which is in the safe range. I've now added a few extra bits into their enclosure. So we've got a humid hide, which is close to their basking area, a water dish, and I've also sunk into the soil a seed tray with some mixed grasses. We also have some pieces of cuttlefish scattered around. Then through the plastic curtain to the cooler end is where I have two food bowls and I finished off the substrate down this end and again I've also created a slope in the soil leading up to their food bowls. I have also added boards at the front to make it more secure so that the babies can't squeeze out of the corner plus they can't scramble over the edge when I remove the front panels. And finally what you've been waiting for is we're ready to move the baby tortoises into their new home. They seem to enjoy exploring their new enclosure and it didn't take them long to settle in. Thanks for watching my video and if you've enjoyed it please click the thumbs up and subscribe to see my other videos.